Hello, I am Raju. Would you like to be my friend? Today is my birthday. Would you like to spend the day with me? I am sure we will all have great fun and learn a lot of new things too. Because I am today planning to see so many places in the world around us. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Mummy. Good morning, Raju. I wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so excited today. When is my party? When will all my friends come to play with me? Happy birthday, Raju. Your party is at four in the afternoon. That reminds me, I have to go shopping later in the morning. Would you like to come with me, Raju? Hurry! That would be great fun. Hello. Arjun speaking. Yes, Arun. What? Today morning's flight. That is great. Yes, we will definitely receive you at the airport. That was your uncle Arun from Mumbai, Raju. He, Mala auntie, and your cousin Rajiv are making a sudden trip to Chennai and Coimbatore. In fact, they are calling from Mumbai airport. We have to receive them at Chennai Airport in two hours' time. They will then leave for Coimbatore tonight. Let's all drive down to the airport to receive them. Yes, let's do that. I shall go to the shopping mall after we return from the airport. We shall also need some money for shopping. Let us drop into the bank on our way and withdraw some. Here are some things we see at home. This is a sofa. We sit on a sofa. This is a newspaper. We read newspapers to know about the things happening around us, in our city, country, and the world. This is a book. We read books for entertainment and knowledge. This is a fan. Fans help us to keep the room more comfortable. This. is a telephone we use telephones to speak to people who are away from us this is a clock clocks give us the time of the day why are we wearing this thing around us this is called a seat belt raju wearing this is very important whenever we travel by car This will prevent us from getting hurt in case the car is suddenly stopped. Can we go faster, Daddy? No, Raju. The speed limit on this road, as you can see, is fifty kilometers per hour. We should be careful to drive well within the speed limit, as otherwise accidents may occur. stopped daddy we have stopped due to a red signal raju see those red and green lights ahead these are called traffic signals they help to regulate the flow of traffic and prevent accidents when the signal is red we should stop and when it is green we can proceed an orange signal indicates that the signal is just about to change it is very important to follow the traffic signals oh Now I know why school buses stop even when no one is getting down. Here are some things we see when we travel by car. This is a car. We see many different types of cars on the road. This is a seat belt. Using seat belts makes our car journey safer. This is a street lamp. Street lamps are used to light up the road. when it is dark this is a speed limit sign such signs on any road tell us what the speed limits on that road are we should always go well within the speed limit this is a traffic signal when it is red we should stop when it is green we may go when the signal is orange it means that the signal is in the process of changing
This building is really big, Mummy. Yes, it is, Raju. Inside it are more than two hundred different shops. The advantage of a shopping mall like this one is that we can finish most or all of our shopping in a single location. So many people here. What if I get lost, Mummy? Hold my hand tightly. Don't be scared, Raju. Hold on to my hand throughout and don't let go and you'll be quite all right. Anyway, even if you happen to miss me in this crowd, you should not panic. You should approach the manager of the mall or one of the security officers and ask their help. They will take your name and make an announcement over the public address system and locate me. See, a young boy named Ravi seems to have missed his father in the crowd. But remember Raju, even if you are lost, avoid approaching strangers. It is better to approach someone in authority like a policeman, a manager, etc. You should also always try to stay in a public place with a lot of people around you. That way, you will be safer. Anyway, I am sure you remember what I have told you about strangers. Yes, Mummy. I will avoid talking to strangers and will not accept any gifts, sweets, etc. from them. Let us get some new clothes for you for your birthday, Raju, in this ready-made garments shop. Shops like these stock a large variety of clothes for people of different ages and sizes. Welcome, welcome. What can I show you today? We need a half-sleeved shirt and a pair of trousers for this young man. Mummy, let us buy a shirt for Rajiv too. He may feel bad if only I am wearing new clothes today. Yes, Raju, that is a good idea. You are quite right in thinking this. Hmm, what to do? I have not planned for this purchase, so the cash may be short. Oh, I know. Let me use my credit card. Then don't you have to pay any money, Mummy? If we pay by a credit card, there is no need to pay cash now. So, we can buy a shirt for Rajiv too. No money to be paid? Isn't that great? Then let's buy some more things also. We do have to pay for it, Raju. We only have the convenience of paying for it later. Look, Raju, this is a credit card. When we pay by a credit card, the bank that has issued us the card pays the shopkeeper on our behalf and then collects the money from us later. While it's convenient for us, we should be careful to repay the bank quickly, else it will become more expensive for us. This is because the bank will charge us interest if we don't pay in time. And usually, the longer we take to pay it, the more will be the interest charged to us. Let us pick some provisions here as well as some vegetables and fruits. Look at these fruits. Pineapples, apples, grapes, bananas, etc. Let us pick up a few fruits and vegetables for our party today. Why are you buying that basket, Mummy? I am not buying the basket, Raju. This basket is for us to pick up whatever items we need from the shop and then take them to the billing section. This is a self-service shop as most supermarkets are nowadays. We have to walk around the shop, select whatever items we need and then take them to the billing counter to be billed. Let us get started. See, Raju. This packet of bread has today's date on it. That means it is likely to be fresh. We should always try to ensure that we get fresh products. Most products also carry on the packaging information as to how long the item will remain fresh. If it is older than what it should be, we should avoid that item. Raju, it is usually a good idea to quickly check the bill printed to ensure that all items are correctly recorded. In this bill, everything is fine. Here are some things we see in a shopping mall. These are some of the clothes we would find in a ready-made garments shop. These are some of the vegetables we would find in a vegetable stall. These are some of the fruits we would find in a fruit stall. This is a credit card. 
credit cards are usually issued to us by banks. Cards allow us to buy things up to a certain predefined value, that is our card limit, without paying cash on the spot. Basically, the bank issuing the card pays to the shopkeeper on our behalf and collects the money from us later. This is a debit card. Debit cards often look similar to credit cards, but they are different in that they are actually linked to our bank account. When we buy something using our debit card, the money is immediately taken out of our bank account. Debit cards also often function as ATM cards. What is this place, Daddy? This is a bank, Raju. We can deposit money we get into the bank. We can then withdraw the money when we need it. In the meantime, the bank keeps the money safe for us. Over a period of time, they also give us a little more money. This is called interest. I am now going to withdraw some money for buying things for your party. This is a cash counter, Raju. When we need to withdraw or deposit cash, we come to this counter. I also need to deposit my salary check and update my passbook. What is a passbook, Daddy? Is it a report card which says pass or fail? No, Raju. The bank keeps an account for each of its customers, wherein it keeps track of how much money they have put into the bank and how much they have taken out. They thus know how much balance money each customer has in the bank. These details are written or printed out in a passbook which is issued to each customer. Oh, I see. And what is that you said about salary check? Does it mean that you have to check your salary? When people need to pay someone money, they can issue them a check like this one if they have bank accounts. My office has paid my salary with this check. When I deposit it in my account in the bank, the money will get transferred into my account and I can then withdraw it as and when I like. Wow! There seems to be a lot of work going on in the bank. It must be quite hard work. Yes, it is. Of course, nowadays most banks use computers like this to do most of the routine work like processing the daily transactions, etc. What is this, Daddy? This is an ATM that is, an automatic teller machine. By using this ATM card, we can withdraw cash, check our account balance, etc. any time of the day, even when the bank is closed. ATMs are usually available round the clock, that is, any time of the day or night. Here are some things we see in a bank. This is cash. We use cash in many ways. For example, for buying things in the market, paying school fees, etc. We should be very careful with cash. This is a check. We use checks to pay someone money or to withdraw money from our bank account. This is a deposit slip. We use such deposit slips when we wish to deposit money either cash or checks given to us by anyone into a bank account. Such deposit slips usually need to be filled in with our bank account number, the amount we are depositing, the check number of the check or the value of each currency note or coin we are depositing, the date of deposit, etc. This is a withdrawal slip. We use this when we wish to withdraw cash from our bank account. We should write our account number, the current date and the amount we wish to withdraw in the withdrawal slip. This is a passbook. Passbooks give us a complete record of all the transactions in our bank account. That is, about all the monies we have put in and all the monies we have taken out of our bank account. 
Thus, we can also see the balance money we have in our bank account in our past book. We should get our past books regularly updated in the bank. This is a demand draft or DD. Sometimes, when we have to pay money to someone, we use a demand draft instead of a check. This is similar to a check, only in the case of the demand draft, we first pay the money to the bank and the bank then effectively issues their check, that is the demand draft, to the person we have to pay money to. This is an ATM, that is, automatic teller machine. ATMs help us to do certain bank transactions, such as withdrawing cash, checking our account balance, etc., without going to the bank, that is, at the ATM itself. The advantage is that the ATM is available 24 hours of the day. ATM card This is an ATM card. In order to use the ATM to withdraw cash, etc., we have to first enter our ATM card into the ATM and then key in a secret number called a personal identification number or PIN. Only then will we be able to do a transaction. The purpose of this is to identify ourselves to the ATM and prevent anyone else from misusing our account. Oh, the post office is approaching. Shall we go in for a minute? I need some stamps. Raju, this is a post office. When people want to send letters, telegrams, parcels, etc., they can send it through the post office. People post letters in post boxes like this one, which are kept at convenient locations. The letters are then collected and reach the post office, after which they are sorted on the basis of their locations. They are then sent to the post offices in the destination locations. Postmen there then finally reach them to their actual destinations. Give me 25 rupee stamps, please. What are these stamps used for, mummy? When we want to send letters by post, we have to affix a stamp of the required amount on the envelope, like on these envelopes here. This is the mechanism by which we pay the post office for their services in reaching our letters. What else can we send by post apart from letters? We can also send parcels through the post office. Remember, for your last birthday, your cousin in Delhi had sent you that toy car by a post parcel? Oh, yes, I remember. That was a great toy. That uncle must be sending a parcel then. Yes, see, they are weighing the parcel. Usually, heavier the parcel, the more the postal charges. If I write to my cousin in Delhi, will my letter reach him tomorrow, mummy? No, Raju. The postal service will usually take about three to four days. However, if it is urgent, then there is a facility called Speed Post, wherein the letter may reach your cousin the next day itself. Of course, this will cost us more. What is a money order? It is a way of sending money to people in other places. For example, every month I take a money order for rupees 1000 for my old uncle in our native village. I can pay the money here in the post office and fill in the money order form, which even has place for me to write a small message. This will be transmitted to the post office in our village, which will then send their postman to pay the money and deliver the message to my uncle in his house. I know our postman Ramdayal Kaka. Why is he not here? How do you know him? Well, he brings a school report card home. And then you look gloomy. Ramdayal must be out delivering letters. Let's go. We are getting late for the airport. Here are some things we see in a post office. This is a post box. Post boxes are kept at various convenient locations across cities and towns 
so that people can drop in their letters in them. This is a postage stamp. We have to affix a postage stamp of the right value on any envelope that we wish to send by post. Usually, the heavier the envelope, the higher will be the value of the postage stamp required. This is a money order form. We can fill in such a form when we wish to send money to anyone through the postal system. It will be transmitted to the local post office of the person to whom we are sending it and the postman therein will then deliver it to the concerned person. This is a post parcel. We can send parcels like these by post by booking them at our local post office. This is an inland letter. We can write inside this, address it correctly and drop it into any post box. It will then be delivered to the concerned person. This is a postcard. This is a very inexpensive and effective means of sending letters to people as it is cheaper than an inland letter or postal envelope. This is a postal envelope. We can write or print our letters and enclose them in this postal envelope which can then be dropped into any post box. Let's buy visitors tickets so that we can go inside the airport and await them. Let us check the flight arrival status. Good. Flight 999 from Mumbai is expected to arrive as scheduled at 11 a.m. ETA means expected time of arrival. Let's go to the visitors area. This place is called... I know, I know. This is an aeroplane. No, Raju. That is an aeroplane. This place is called an airport. Airports are places where aeroplanes take off and land. Aeroplanes go very fast. We have landed in Chennai so soon. How wonderful! In fact, your uncle can reach Chennai in less than two hours from Mumbai by an aeroplane, whereas if he were to come by train, it would take him about 24 hours or more. Look, Raju, they have gone to collect their luggage. The luggage they have got from Mumbai in the plane will arrive on the conveyor belt. Hi Raju. Look, we have come to Chennai for your birthday. What have you got for me from Mumbai, uncle? Raju, that's not very polite. At least greet them properly first. Namaste, uncle. Namaste, auntie. How are you? Hello, Rajiv. I knew you would be coming to the airport, Raju. So I kept this in my hand. Hooray! I can't wait to open it and see what is inside. Be nice, Raju. Say thank you to them and we can go home and open your gift. Thank you, Uncle. Here are some things we see in an airport. This is an airline ticket. We have to buy such a ticket in order to travel in an aeroplane. This is an aeroplane. Aeroplanes travel very fast and can reach any part of the country within a matter of hours. This is luggage. When we travel to other places, we usually take with us many items such as our clothes, personal effects, etc. neatly packed as luggage. It is a good idea to reduce the amount of luggage we carry with us so as to make our travel more comfortable. Here is a pilot. Pilots fly aeroplanes. One has to train very hard to be a pilot.
What is your program now, Arun? I have to visit the Chennai branch of my office for some urgent work. It is in Adyar. Is it very far from here? Not really. I shall drop you there by car. I shall take Raju and go to the shopping mall. We shall take a public bus. Are you coming with us, Mala? No, I shall rest at home. Rajiv is also tired and can stay with me. This is a queue for the bus, Raju. People stand in a queue in the order in which they come. We should always stand in an orderly position in the queue so that we can all get into the bus comfortably without any pushing or shoving, which might be quite dangerous. You should also always remember, Raju, to never get into a bus until it comes to a complete halt, as getting in or out of a moving bus could hurt you badly. Here are some things we see in a bus stop. This is a bus. Buses often function as public transport. They usually have fixed routes and stop in pre-fixed locations called bus stops along their route. This is a bus queue. Such queues are useful as they help everyone get into the bus in an orderly fashion without any pushing or shoving. Mummy, I want to sit next to the window. Okay. One full and one half ticket to the modern shopping mall. Why are we giving money to him, Mummy? Is he the owner of this bus? No, Raju. This is a public bus and belongs to the government. This gentleman is called a bus conductor and it is his job among other things to collect the correct fare from each person travelling in the bus. We should keep these tickets he has given us at least until we get down from the bus. A travelling ticket examiner, TTE, may come any time to check if the people travelling in the bus have all purchased tickets. We have to show our tickets to the TTE when he comes. Remember, it is wrong to travel in any public transport without buying a ticket. Please get up and let this elderly gentleman have your seat, Raju. Very good, Raju. Remember, while we should always be considerate to all, we should be particularly considerate towards elderly people and offer them all possible assistance we can. Our destination is approaching. Come, let's go. Here are some things we see when we travel by bus. This is a bus ticket. Whenever we travel in a public bus, we should buy a bus ticket from the bus conductor. This is the way by which we pay for the bus ride. Here is a bus conductor. It is the conductor's job, among other things, to issue bus tickets to all passengers. This building is really big, Mummy. Yes, it is, Raju. Inside it are more than 200 different shops. The advantage of a shopping mall like this one is that we can finish most or all of our shopping in a single location. So many people here. What if I get lost, Mummy? Hold my hand tightly. Don't be scared, Raju. Hold on to my hand throughout and don't let go and you'll be quite alright. Anyway, even if you happen to miss me in this crowd, you should not panic. You should approach the manager of the mall or one of the security officers and ask their help. They will take your name and make an announcement over the public address system and locate me. See, a young boy named Ravi seems to have missed his father in the crowd. But remember Raju, even if you are lost, avoid approaching strangers. It is better to approach someone in authority like a policeman, a manager, etc. You should also always try to stay in a public place with a lot of people around you. That way, you will be safer. Anyway, I am sure you remember what I have told you about strangers. Yes, mummy. I will avoid talking to strangers and will not accept any gifts, sweets, etc. from them. Let us get some new clothes for you for your birthday, Raju, in this ready-made garments shop. 
Shops like these stock a large variety of clothes for people of different ages and sizes. Welcome, welcome. What can I show you today? We need a half-sleeved shirt and a pair of trousers for this young man. Mummy, let us buy a shirt for Rajiv too. He may feel bad if only I am wearing new clothes today. Yes, Raju, that is a good idea. You are quite right in thinking this. Hmm. What to do? I have not planned for this purchase, so the cash may be short. Oh, I know. Let me use my credit card. Then don't you have to pay any money, mummy? If we pay by a credit card, there is no need to pay cash now. So we can buy a shirt for Rajiv too. No money to be paid? Isn't that great? Then let's buy some more things also. We do have to pay for it, Raju. We only have the convenience of paying for it later. Look, Raju, this is a credit card. When we pay by a credit card, the bank that has issued us the card pays the shopkeeper on our behalf and then collects the money from us later. While it's convenient for us, we should be careful to repay the bank quickly, else it will become more expensive for us. This is because the bank will charge us interest if we don't pay in time, and usually, the longer we take to pay it. the more will be the interest charged to us let us pick some provisions here as well as some vegetables and fruits look at these fruits pineapples apples grapes bananas etc let us pick up a few fruits and vegetables for our party today why are you buying that basket mummy i am not buying the basket raju This basket is for us to pick up whatever items we need from the shop and then take them to the billing section. This is a self-service shop as most supermarkets are nowadays. We have to walk around the shop, select whatever items we need and then take them to the billing counter to be billed. Let us get started. See Raju, this packet of bread has today's date on it. That means it is likely to be fresh. we should always try to ensure that we get fresh products most products also carry on the packaging information as to how long the item will remain fresh if it is older than what it should be we should avoid that item raju it is usually a good idea to quickly check the bill printed to ensure that all items are correctly recorded in this bill everything is fine Here are some things we see in a shopping mall. These are some of the clothes we would find in a ready-made garments shop. These are some of the vegetables we would find in a vegetable stall. These are some of the fruits we would find in a fruit stall. This is a credit card. Credit cards are usually issued to us by banks. Cards allow us to buy things up to a certain predefined value that is our card limit without paying cash on the spot basically the bank issuing the card pays to the shopkeeper on our behalf and collects the money from us later this is a debit card debit cards often look similar to credit cards but they are different in that they are actually linked to our bank account When we buy something using our debit card, the money is immediately taken out of our bank account. Debit cards also often function as ATM cards. Oh, they are tourists. How wonderful. I need more, mummy. Please put some more. You can have more if you want, Raju, but finish off what's on your plate first. Then If you still want more you may have more food is precious and we should avoid wasting it by taking only as much as we need you should also not talk with your mouth full raju and you should only use your right hand for eating let us clean up and decorate the rooms for your party raju you go and clean your room first raju you are so lucky what a beautiful room you have but you should keep it clean every day and not only on special days cleanliness is next only to godliness come 
I shall help you to clean up your room. You should keep all your toys, books, etc. carefully, Raju. Keep each thing in its place. Once you take out a toy and play with it, or take out a book and read or write in it, you should put it back in its own place. That way, things will not get lost and you will also be able to use them much longer. Raju, why don't you rest for a while before your party? Here are some things we see in a party. This is a cake. Cakes are usually served in birthday parties and other parties. This is a gift. We give gifts to people on various happy occasions such as birthdays, anniversaries, etc. This is a glass of juice. These are balloons. Children love to play with balloons and we often use balloons to decorate the room for parties, etc. Raju, Raju, come now. Raju, let me light the candles for you. You can then blow out the candles and cut the cake. Happy birthday, Raju. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Here are some things we see on a road. This is a zebra crossing on a road. We should cross the road only at a zebra crossing like this. This is a pavement on a road. When we walk on a road, we should walk only on the pavement as far as possible. Raju, we shall now go to visit your grandparents. It is important for you to take their blessings on your special day. We can walk down to their place. As you know, it is quite close by. Good! Let's go! It is always a good idea to take some fruits or small gifts whenever we visit someone particularly elderly people. By the way, Raju, please walk on the pavement. It is safer for pedestrians to walk on the pavement. See, Raju, we should cross the road only at a zebra crossing like this and not anywhere else. When we cross the road, we should wait for the traffic to pass. We should look to the left to see that no vehicles are approaching, then to the right and then to the left again. And we should cross only when no vehicles are approaching close by. Here are some things we see in a hospital. This is an ambulance. Ambulances are used to take sick people to hospitals. Here is a doctor. Doctors examine us when we are not well and give us treatment including medicines to make us well soon. Here is a nurse. Nurses take care of patients in the hospital by giving them correct food and medicines in time and by assisting the doctors in their treatment. This is a stethoscope. Doctors use stethoscopes to examine patients. These are medicines. When we are ill, the doctor gives us medicines to make us better. This is an injection. Sometimes, when we are ill, the doctor would give us an injection so that we get well quickly. Mummy, is that a policeman? No, it's an ambulance. 
an ambulance is a vehicle that is used to bring sick patients to the hospital raju patients in the hospital are recovering from various illnesses so they need a lot of rest and peace so you must be very quiet in the hospital and talk very softly to avoid disturbing them i have also got some fruits to give gupta aunty we would like to see mrs gupta please she is in room number 312 madam that would be in the third floor you have to hurry as the visiting hours are from 4 to 7 pm only there are only 15 minutes left mummy why is that aunty in a uniform is she going to school no raju she is a nurse she takes care of patients in the hospital Why can't we visit Gupta aunty any time mummy why do they have special visiting hours and can't we take the lift instead of walking upstairs the patients need a lot of rest and peace hence the visiting hours are restricted also it is better to leave the lift for the patients and for emergencies since we are quite fit we can walk up the stairs What is ICU mummy? This is the intensive care unit Raju. When patients are seriously ill or immediately after an operation, they are placed in the ICU. In the ICU, they are given special attention with doctors and nurses on duty all the 24 hours of the day. Normally, visitors are not allowed into the ICU for fear that they might transmit some infection to the patients who are very weak at this stage. Namaste Mrs Gupta how are you now Oh Maya how nice to see you Yes I'm much better now They have given me very good care How are you Gupta aunty Are you scared of injections Don't worry I'm sure you will get well soon Here this book is a gift for you Oh How nice of you to get me something. I will definitely read it. It has been given to me specially by Raju with affection. How nice of you to think of giving me something. You must be getting bored here all day alone. You can read the book for a change. All right, let us leave now for the visiting hours are over. Get well soon Mrs Gupta. We will come again some other day. Namaste grandpa. Namaste grandma. Oh, it is your birthday Raju. May you have a long and happy life. Did you have a nice birthday Raju? Did all your friends come over? I am sorry I could not come to the party. Oh, one more gift for me. How wonderful. I had a great day. It was good fun. Most of my friends had come. We had lovely things to eat. And I got a lot of gifts and I also learned so much. You remember our old neighbor Mrs Gupta? She suddenly took ill last week and was admitted to the Getwell Hospital where they performed an operation on her. She is now recovering. but is still in the hospital oh dear she must be feeling quite depressed raju let us visit gupta aunty in the hospital before we go home raju how was your birthday did you have a good time yes it was great i had a lot of fun and i learned a lot of new things it is time to leave for the railway station to take the train to coimbatore arun Raju, do you want to come with me to see off your cousin? Oh yes, I would love that.
I shall park the car and come back. You may all wait here. Come Raju, let us buy platform tickets for us both. We shall need these to enter the platform to see off your uncle. Let us further confirm our reservations. Our coach is A1. Good. Everything is fine. Let us get in. Our birds are numbers 7, 8 and 9. It is getting quite late, Arun. We shall take leave. Yes, good night to you all and thank you. Bye, Arun uncle. Next time, please stay with us for some more days. I want to play with Rajiv. We should come for Rajiv's summer holidays and spend a week with you. Oh, it's 10 o'clock already, Raju. Past your usual bedtime. Yes, Mummy. I'm quite tired. But I had a wonderful time today. I have never been to so many places in a single day before. Thank you very much. Good night. Here are some things we see in a railway station. This is a platform ticket. When we go to the railway station to receive or send off anyone, we have to buy a platform ticket in order to enter. This is a train. A large number of people, even up to a thousand people, can travel in a train at any given time. This is a railway ticket. We have to buy a ticket like this to travel in a train. I hope you all had a great time. Bye. See you again soon.